If you watch the internet at all, you will have noticed the trend of a hundred things started by Christine on Simply Nail Logical. She did a hundred layers of nail polish. Pretty crazy. And then the rest of the beauty world kind of took over. They've been doing liquid lipstick and eyeliner and mascara and everything that you could think of. And I thought I would put my own little food spin on it. So I checked online, made sure no one else was doing this, and I decided to go for 100 layers of fondant. Hashtag fondant mountain. So I started off with this little rice crispy treat, gotta start small. And I'm only frosting the first layer. I'm using this fondant that I have left over from a project that you're gonna see on Friday. Make sure to subscribe to see that fun surprise. And one by one, I am just gonna put these layers on. Instead of using buttercream between each layer, I am using a damp towel or a paintbrush and water to make them adhere to each other. Here we are, just 10 layers in. By golly, it is getting big and heavy quickly. All right, we're 20 layers in right here. And this is all the fondant that I have left. Pretty cool design though. But I need to get more from the store or make some myself. Okay, so truth be told, this is only at 24 layers. Not as cool looking. Didn't get to 100. So this is unfortunately a fail video. Because I did lose a little motivation, I looked online yesterday, yesterday from when you guys are seeing this at least, and someone else had already done this. Great minds think alike. I'll link down to that video down below. Kudos to her for actually completing it. I think she said it took her four days to do, and ain't nobody got that kind of time, ain't nobody got that kind of money, ain't nobody got that kind of sanity. At least, not this girl. Apparently someone does. <laughs> but, you know, I had fun trying. Decided it. you know, the, the most fun part is to cut into it and, and that kind of fun stuff. Naturally, you have to do a little bit of taste testing. Okay, just kidding, that's gross. But, I can scrape off most of it and make kind of a funky, cool little tie-dye font. And I'll try to make sure I don't let it go to waste. And as a bonus, I did learn how to make a new kind of fondant from scratch because I did not want to spend the money, hundreds of dollars probably, on store-bought fondant. So. It is kind of a bummer that I did not get to finish it, but it was fun to try. I just am too busy and wanted to spend more time and effort on videos that I think you might really enjoy. So I hope you'll stay tuned. I'm trying to get a video out tomorrow. If not for sure, I will on Friday. And here's
here's just a little bit of sneak peek. Thank you so much for joining me here on Jen's Creativity Corner. This is my new channel. I'll put a link down below to my vlog channel that I've had going for a while. And I hope you will subscribe and stick around. Give me a chance. And also enter the giveaway that I have going on on my other channel. So thank you so much again. And have a wonderful day.